Center's Local 256 in Huntsville, Alabama. Today we're going to be demonstrating how the USB authentication door servo unlocker mechanism works, for lack of a better title. Basically, we have a piece of code that is scanning for the iSerial number on a USB device. It's scanning the chip for the serial number rather than the contents of the, of the flash drive for media. So a user would come up and take their serial, their USB device, and if it's authenticated on the system, this will unlock, and you'll be able to unlock the door. As long as the door is open, this switch is going to say that you should not be locking the door because we don't want the bolt to get thrown while the door is open. But as soon as the door is closed, after five seconds, this will lock back, and now you can't get through. We've also implemented this uh, manual override on the servo to also unlock the door. And again, after five seconds, it will lock back. The way the circuit works, or the way the development housing is made, we used cheap aluminum or uh, cheap clear Tupperware to, uh, to mount the servo in. And this is just some printed circuit board for to give ourselves a stiff structure. That is the servo in action. As uh, someone authenticates to it, or if there's a manual override, the servo will actuate and turn the bolt to the correct position. This here is a free Juino board. It's running the Atmel 128 chip. And this here is a daughter board that we built for the free Juino board. And uh, that is our project.